For over six centuries, the knight called Sir Percival sat with us in brotherhood. He saw entire kingdoms perish, and others equally transitory take their place. He saw the rise of the half-breeds and was relentless in their pursuit. To all these things he bore witness, because he was blessed by this. The grail, the black water that courses through our veins. The bond that unites this order. The elixir which heals all wounds and extends the life of natural men. Yet it cannot ensure immortality. Now, Sebastian Mallory, once Sir Percival is dead. There is a tradition of bestowing a knighthood in our order, only on the occasion of the death of him who bears that honor and burden. Generation after generation, new knights have taken the names of their hallowed predecessors. We are assembled here today on just such a solemn occasion. From blood of old. The grail will give new life to you, Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock, Gilbert de Mottier, Marquis de Lafayette, swear to uphold the most noble precepts of our order. Do you pledge to give your life in service to our righteous cause? With all my heart and soul. Drink. May the grail give you life beyond life. By this communion, you are bound to our sacred order. Henceforth, only your blood shall replenish this vial. May the black water serve you well. Always use it wisely. I dub thee Sir Percival, servant of our great king and knight of the round table. Rise, Sir Percival, and assume your rightful place at our table. Guards! Remove Sebastian Mallory's body from the council chamber and take him to the crypt. This council is now called to order. Let the terrible tragedy which has befallen us serve as a warning to those who would defy the mandates of this office. The late Sebastian Mallory did not perish in the fight against the Heartbreeds. No. He died a victim of his own heedless enterprise and the negligence of those sworn to uphold the highest standards of duty and sacrifice. And to what purpose? Lord Chancellor, I must have... Public buildings destroyed! Innocent citizens placed at risk. Incalculable damage done to United India Company property. It is only by the mercy of Providence that an even greater disaster was avoided. All this while not a single rebel was taken into custody. On the contrary, by their rogue actions, the knights in question may have done the enemy a great service. 
The Lord Chancellor perhaps speaks too harshly. He would do well to remember that Sir Percival's force did uncover evidence of a rebel effort against the- Circumstantial evidence! Mere supposition, all of which resulted in a deplorable calamity. I will hear no more of the matter. With respect, Lord Chancellor. Sit down, Sir Galahad! With respect! I, too, have lost a friend. More than a friend. A brother. You do great wrong to sully his name in such a manner. You dance on the very edge of insubordination, Sir Knight. I am apprehensive of my responsibility in this affair. Yet if the same circumstances should present themselves, I would do exactly as I have done. As Mallory wished. My lords! Sirs! The rebels have ambushed Lord Hastings' carriage. He and his escort are trapped on the Westminster Bridge. All knights do arms! Protect Lord Hastings! Let's eliminate these godless rebels once and for all. Sir Galahad, this matter is not yet over. Someone will yet answer for Sebastian Mallory's death! Of that you can be sure. 